when I left New York and came back to Omaha, I had about $175,000, and I was retired. So I guess they figured if I was retired at 26, I must be doing something right. And they gave me their money. One day, it would all become a reality for you. No more rushing off to work, holding office power, and at best, your influence may be reduced. With retirement, your cash flow will also decrease. It's essential to keep track of your retirement date, which you can find on your payslip. The time to plan for retirement is now, as soon as you get a job. So whether you have started or not, this video is for you. Before making any move, there are some key questions that you need to ask yourself. It will help you lay out your plans properly. How much time do I have till retirement? While this may seem easy enough, it is not so. Today, job security is next to nothing. Hire and fire are the corporate policies. If you are young, you can get jobs easily, not so in the mid-40s and almost impossible after 50. If you work in a government PSU org, you can relax on this. Otherwise, you should assume the worst. You must know how much you will require once you retire. For example, let's say a retired couple living an average life requires $45,000 per month. What will be the requirement in 10 to 30 years? Simple. Use the compound interest formula and use 6.5% as the inflation rate. For instance, after 20 years, the equivalent of $45,000 today will be $160,000, approximately. Every year, inflation will increase the cost of living. The $45,000 or $160,000 or whatever is not a constant. Every year later, it will increase by the inflation rate. The life expectancy and how many years post-retirement. The life expectancy for a man is 85 years on average today. Women outlive men and may live up to 90. With medical advances and a good healthy lifestyle, this may increase. If you retire at 55 and your spouse is 51 then, you will have to provide for a corpus that will last for 40 years. How much corpus do I need for retirement? This is the big one and it is not easy to answer. For instance, if one retires today and annual expenses today are $540,000, the assumed constant rate of inflation is 6.5%, then a corpus of $1 will last as follows. If the corpus is invested and the rate of return is 6%, it will run down to zero in 17 years, six months. At 8%, it will become zero after 22 years. At 10%, it will last 32 years. If your wish is for it to last for 40 years, then you should be able to earn an 11% return or you must have a corpus of $1.14 at 10%, $15,725,000 at 8%, or $23,015,000 at 6%. How do I build that corpus? The only way to generate wealth that beats taxes and inflation is either mutual funds or stocks. For example, if you want to generate a corpus of 1.5 and you have 15 years to achieve this, then assuming an annuity return of 12% via equity ESIPs, you will need to start various ESIPs totaling $30,000 per month. With these in mind, the following steps will guide you on the right path. Number one, make sure to take advantage of your 30 days of annual leave each year. How you spend your leave is likely to be a reflection of your retired life. If you merely use it to sleep or watch TV, those may become dominant activities during your retirement. Remember the wisdom of Proverbs. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief. Don't rely on watching entertainment shows like Big Brother Nija to save you from heartache during retirement. Instead, consider using your leave to learn a new trade or skill that will prove valuable later on. Invest your after-office hours wisely by acquiring knowledge and avoiding wasting time on idleness, gossip, or excessive TV watching. The same goes for weekends. Make them productive and you'll thank yourself later. The best thing you can do is to be exceptionally good at something. If you're the best, if you're the best doctor in town, if you're the best lawyer in town, whatever abilities you have can't be taken away from you. They can't actually be inflated away from you. Somebody else will give you some of the wheat they produce or cotton or whatever it may be, and they will trade you for the skill you have. So the best investment 
by far as anything that develops yourself. Number two, invest for your retirement. Your children are not retirement investments. Don't bank on your children's support or the support of friends or relations. That's a big risk. It may not happen. Be ready to take care of yourself. Everyone has his responsibilities. They won't be able to help you that much. You will also lose your dignity and respect if you adopt a life of begging. Number three, automate your savings. Set up automatic contributions to your retirement accounts. By automating your savings, you ensure regular deposits without the temptation to spend the money elsewhere. Treat retirement savings as a fixed expense. Well, Charlie and I he, uh, have always been, been big fans of living within your income, and if you do that, you'll have a whole lot more income later on. Number four, control expenses and live within your means. Reduce unnecessary expenses and prioritize saving for retirement. Create a budget to track your income and expenses, identifying areas where you can cut back. By living within your means, you'll have more available funds to save for retirement. With this strategy in place, you can now increase your contributions over time. As your income grows or when you receive pay raises, allocate a portion of the additional income towards retirement savings. Aim to increase your contributions annually to keep pace with inflation and improve your retirement savings rate. Number five, invest in cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are the world's most largest, growing, and most profitable online paying investment. It is one of the most fastest and profitable ways to increase your income. Fact has it that cryptocurrency investments are the future that will take over the bank, meaning cryptocurrencies is the future. Right now, according to the World Market Economy Chart Analysis, it has proven that cryptocurrency investments are overtaking every area of the investments and has gained much investor over the year. If you've reached this far, it means you are enjoying our content. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep seeing valuable videos like this. Number six, long-term focus. Buffett emphasizes the importance of taking a long-term approach to investing. Similarly, in retirement planning, it's crucial to have a long-term perspective. Consider your retirement as a multi-decade period and plan accordingly. Develop a strategy that aligns with your long-term financial goals and allows for compounding growth over time. Number seven, cultivate a hobby early in your working life that can accompany you into retirement. Consider activities like raising livestock, farming, or even starting a small business. Focus on acquiring practical skills. Number eight, plan for your retirement location. Build a home that you can retire in rather than relying on renting or overstaying your welcome in government housing. Being at the mercy of a landlord while dealing with reduced and unpredictable cash flow can be very challenging. Don't retire and stay in a big city unless you can truly afford it. You can't continue living in a big city after 60 with limited financial resources. The language and the hustle will be hard for you. Where possible, relocate to a less expensive town where your reduced take-home pension can cover. Number nine, diversify your investments to ensure a secure retirement. Own property that can be rented out or sold when needed. Invest in shares that pay good dividends and consider engaging in activities like planting cash crops, rearing livestock, or cultivating vegetables. These endeavors will not only provide income, but also keep you physically active and healthy during retirement. Number 10, liabilities. One cannot plan retirement with having liabilities, be it any kind of loans EM is. Work towards clearing all your loans before retiring. While you're also clearing them, plan not to take any new loans. The idea is to clear the existing ones and free them from EMI traps. Limit your use of credit cards, and even if you use them, never keep their outstanding dues. Embrace a simple and practical lifestyle during retirement. Avoid spending your retirement package on building a house in your rural home unless you plan to reside there permanently or have sufficient resources to afford such luxury. Remember, your desk at your workplace is not permanent. 
plan for your retirement to secure a fulfilling and worry-free future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next one.